What's up guys? So my entire life journey, as you know, I'm a personal trainer, is to get you on a path where you see results and you meet your goals and you achieve those goals. And when I see that, it is a huge deal to me. I see results and it means a lot to me. It's not just something I see every day, it really does mean the world to me. So last summer, I received a results picture from a lady from Alabama and her name was Amanda. And she had just completed my end of summer challenge and she had been working out with me since March had achieved amazing results, okay? She was losing inches on her body and her stomach and her legs and her butt looked fantastic. She did so well that she actually inspired her sister, Stacy, to jump on board with us and start using the YouTube workouts I was putting up every day as their everyday workouts. And Amanda and Stacy together motivated each other. They were in the Sydney squad, they pushed each other well, and they ended up together losing over 100 pounds. So, for Christmas, I received a message, an email from Stacy's spouse, and she asked me if it would be okay, since I knew the girls, I was really familiar with them, if for their Christmas present, she could get them a trip to Charlotte to meet me, a meet and greet with me. And first of all, I was like, me? You wanna have a trip to meet me for Christmas? Um, of course, I knew the girls, um, I'd worked with them for a while, so I said yes. And um, it's just incredible. Over 100 pounds together. They pushed each other so well. And so this is the weekend that they are in Charlotte. And we have a lot planned for them. Um, a lot of fun things. A lot of companies contributed to this weekend. We've planned a really awesome boot camp for them to rock through. Um, oh, actually, one more thing. So these girls drove 1,200 miles to see me. They drove in from Alabama. And as soon as they said they were gonna come, I wanted to make sure that they got a taste of Charlotte. So we got together with a couple of Dustin and I's favorite restaurants, businesses in Charlotte that we love, that we go to all the time. And uh, I guess before I show you everything, they didn't pay me to say this, this isn't sponsored. They actually told me I didn't even have to put any of this in the video, but it means a lot to me that they're helping welcome these girls to the city and so a couple of our favorite businesses gave us some stuff I'm going to show you guys what they gave us. We've got Bill and Coffee, uh, one of Dustin's very best friends Chris and his friend Katie actually came up with, founded the company Bill and Coffee. They brew the coffee, roast the coffee right here in Charlotte. So they have their two very favorite brands, Duncan and Lunsford. I think the girls like coffee. We have two gift cards from Kid Cashew. It's a Mediterranean wood fire grill, delicious food, really cool environment. They have an outdoor patio that we really like a lot. Um, amazing food, and they jumped right on it. They said, how does this sound? So, amazing from Kid Cashew. Suarez Bakery, the most delicious sweets in the city, gave us Royal Change hand-piped cookies. Um, they were so excited, they were like, how creative can we get? And we were like, go for it. So, they gave us these cookies. Um, they have amazing donut cakes. We've gotten them for a couple birthdays. So we have our friends at 704 shop. They gave us all this apparel. They have a Charlotte t-shirt, the beanies, CLT t-shirt, Queen City t-shirt, which is what Charlotte is known as, the Queen City. Um, beanies for the girls, t-shirts that say Charlotte. Our friend Jerry is actually one of the owners. He loves it. He and Dustin fly drones together all the time. You get them flying drones, it's hard to get them to quit. And then last, one of our very favorite places in the city that we always like to take our friends that come in from out of town is Fahrenheit. And the girls are gonna go there probably tonight or tomorrow night, but this is a rooftop bar restaurant. It's got one of the best views of the city in Charlotte. So they gave us a gift card. We're gonna take the girls up there and celebrate this weekend. So excited to give them this little Charlotte welcome basket. So pumped for all the companies that helped us welcome them to Charlotte. I cannot wait for them to see all this stuff. Oh, one more thing. Also, one of our very favorite meal prep companies, Get Fit Foods, and I had to keep it in the fridge because they're not here yet. Get Fit Foods actually gave us eight meals. Okay, so we're gonna give the girls enough food to sustain themselves throughout the weekend. They told me it was really important that they stayed on track throughout this weekend. They didn't want it to be a vacation where they just lost it and let go of all their goals and on their journey, they're crushing it. Obviously, they're working hard. So, Get Fit Foods helped us with that. This is Dustin and I's favorite. The barbecue beef with mac and cheese. They got chicken enchilada, zucchini pasta. They're gonna love it. And this is really gonna be important to me because that means I can help them stay on track with their goals as they're here in Charlotte. Okay, so that's it. Now let's go meet them. One of the very first things that the girls told me when they told me they were coming to Charlotte is that 
don't worry girl, we're gonna make you laugh all weekend. We're tons of fun. We're the Yaya sisters, they keep calling themselves. So I thought I would flip it around and actually try and make them laugh first when we meet them. So I've um, got a little surprise planned for them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this camera over on the coffee table. We've got one camera set up here. The girls are gonna walk in here and I'm actually gonna be hiding over here behind the wall when they walk in to hopefully scare them. <laughs> I hope the surprise doesn't fail. Are those coordinates right? So when the girls told me they were coming into town from Alabama, I knew that we had to do something exciting for them. So I thought about having a boot camp. I realized one of my friends, Seal, also hosts a boot camp for a fundraiser. She's raising, for, raising funds for Carolina Breast Friends, and it's a company in Charlotte that raises money for breast cancer patients. So I asked her, why don't we team up? Why don't we make this thing huge and make it a charitable event for the girls? So we're here now. It's about 45 minutes away. Um, it's at Functional Fit in Charlotte, and One Nutrition was actually generous enough to contribute a bunch of protein bars. They're my favorite protein bars. So we've got these to hand out. We've got a DJ coming, and we're about 45 minutes away from starting. I've got my pink pants on to support Carolina Breast Friends fundraiser, and I can't wait to see everyone and sweat. Woo! <laughs> Right now it's about 9, what time is it? 9.35, so we've got Nick the DJ set up, which I'm so excited about. I've only had one other boot camp with the DJ, and it was him, so I'm so excited about that. Nick the DJ is setting up Functional Fit, actually has classes this morning, so that's why you see people still working out right now. They're finishing up their class, people are kind of rolling in. We've got the usual CLT over here, which is a boutique clothing company. We've got one nutrition bar set up. We we'll probably have different stations. This station, station over here, possibly a station outside. Hopefully we have enough people for that. Either way, I think it's gonna be packed. So people are rolling in. I see people parking out there. I'm excited. We had about 50 people come out, um, people from all over, the vendors were there. Special thank you to One Nutrition. They donated some bars. They did not sponsor this video, but they donated some bars. They are my favorite protein bars. Um, just 
located in Charlotte, so they're kind of a local brand, but they just recently blew up, and I was so excited for everyone after boot camp to get some of those bars. I met some people. Uh, the two girls from Alabama were at the boot camp. Another girl that uses the YouTube channel, Riley, she came all the way from Knoxville, and then I had a couple other people there that used the workouts um, that I finally got to meet face to face, and it's so crazy to think that they just came to meet me. That's still mind blowing to me, but it was awesome. There was an awesome energy in there. Um, Nick, the DJ, crushed it. It's such another level of boot camp when you have a DJ. So amazing, amazing boot camp. I was so pumped about it. After the boot camp, we went to dinner at Cabo Fish Taco, Dustin's very favorite place in the world. <laughs> Every time a friend comes to town, we always take them to Cabo Fish Taco. But went there, um, and right after that, we went to Fahrenheit, which was one of the places that the girls got a gift card for. I initially thought I was going to video um, the evening, but as it was going along, it was just so nice to see um, and hear and talk face to face without a camera or without anything around us and just get to know the girls, get to know their stories, their journeys. You know, they use these workout videos uh, every day for less than a year and together they've lost over 100 pounds and there's a story behind that. There's not just someone who works out and then that's it. So it was no really, really nice to me and really important to me to get to talk to them without a camera or anything like that. So we went to Fahrenheit, we celebrated together. Um, Riley and her husband came as well. A couple of our other friends that went to the boot camp, one of my personal training clients here in Charlotte, Diana and her husband met us there. And we just got to just talk and hang out and just celebrate the journey that we're all on. It was really cold there, so we went out on the rooftop for a quick picture, uh, but we came back in and uh, it was just a really nice evening to just talk and connect and celebrate what these girls have accomplished over the last year. Now we're headed to one last dinner before the girls head back to Alabama tomorrow and it seems like they just got here and now they're leaving, which is sad, but after dinner we're going to head to where we normally go live with the Sydney squad and let the girls talk on live. No agenda or anything, just see what everyone has to say. I think it'll be cool to have everyone really connect and let the girls tell their stories and how they've had success in their journeys. Okay, so we finished up dinner at Kid Cashew and we actually just went live with the Sydney squad. Um, this is Stacy and Amanda. Stacy, Amanda, sisters. Um, we, I've talked a lot about them in the vlog, but I wanted them to give you kind of some advice, their best tips on how they lost over 100 pounds together and um, their story is not just a weight loss, but it is a lifestyle story. So I wanted them to give you guys kind of advice to inspire you to take that journey, uh, to start your journey. And I'll let them take over, Stacy, if you want to go first. Sure. Basically, I started out, like everybody else, doing the fad diets, the, the keto, the paleo, the Weight Watchers, counting the points. And, you know, I'd be on it for a little while, then fall right back off. And it just wasn't consistent. Mm -hmm. And, um, then Amanda started on you. Mm -hmm. She found you on YouTube, and uh, we came across your nutrition. I started following that, and then I was doing the exercises, but I noticed I was I was having trouble getting my proteins and my carbs a little bit to begin with. Mm -hmm. But um, what I started doing then was just going to the basic, easy grilled chicken, turkey, yeah. fish, yeah. Um, eating the good carbs, um, vegetables, asparagus. The weight started coming off. Yeah. And we started seeing results. And when I say we, I mean my wife and I. She's yeah. like, this is working. This is it, yeah. Yeah, and she, she I think you found what's working. Yeah. So we started the exercising and uh, it just, it fell off. I feel so much healthier and happier um, you know, it's it's crazy. I mean, just eating healthy, my skin mm -hmm. started looking healthier. I felt healthier. My joints felt healthier. Yeah. I wasn't waking up, um, having a hard time walking from the weight being on my ankles. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's just, and it's it's not a diet. Yeah. You know, it's not a diet. Yeah. It's just a it's a lifestyle change of eating healthy foods and making smarter choices and um, exercise. Yeah. yeah. What what I take away from your journey is that you just stopped uh, overcomplicating it. I did. Yeah. I did. We just made it simple. I mean, mm -hmm. we weren't throwing mm -hmm. together these big fancy dinners, you know, and casseroles yeah, and so yeah. forth. Um, we were just sticking to your basic um, vegetables and, and chicken and occasional fruit and yeah. avocados and just staying with the healthy food. Yeah. 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 Exactly. 
beautiful. Simple, consistent, and yes, I, yeah, I think you bring the consistency in too. Yeah, you consistency actually... and, and found <laughs> Sydney like in March, and I just happened to stumble on her, which was the best find. <laughs> but um, and the consistency is you have to you have to stay with it. You have to, and we all learn from our mistakes. We all fall off. We all we, you have to like get back on, jump back on the next day or right after you do something you eat something bad get back and eat something <laughs> yeah. good you know you have to stick with it but it, it has just been such a it's a lifestyle and mm -hmm. and the eating you you have to keep it simple because if you put too much thought into it it starts to be more of a chore yeah than something that is something that you enjoy doing mm -hmm. and all and, and i'm like stacy just keep it simple yeah mm -hmm. To me, less ingredients, you know, to stick with the four to five ingredients with your food, and that's what I have found, and, and I'm, I like my sweets, and so I have to find alternatives, like, you know, you like your peanut butter and your chocolate, well, you, you, you there's recipes out there for you to find a healthy alternative mm -hmm. to the the bad sweets, <laughs> the good sweets, you know, <laughs> the can't good, have, but bad, there are alternatives out there, and you just, consistency, stick with it, consistency. Yes. Yeah. Let them inspire you, they have a mantra that they say together, you, you do you. you, you do you. Let that inspire you guys from their successful journey to you, I hope you can take something away from this, and I hope that you can do you. <laughs> Woo!